Alrighty guys, it's been a gaming girl back. Um so yeah, we're gonna record. I'm an idiot. <laughs> we're gonna finish my like story of me and all of that mess. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do in this video. I guess just keep up with the fun, get started on some bookshelves and try to find some diamonds, because we are desperate for diamonds right now. Um, oh, hold on, I'll take care of this. I'm out of food. Come on. Add the sexes. Add this area that they have in the sexes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm level 26. Um, yeah. I'm gonna roll some of this, and my cat's cool. So we're getting a good amount of stuff here. Um, yeah. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm just so, um thinking about future videos and series and whatnot. Probably shouldn't be doing that right now, but anyways. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So where I left off, I remember. So I checked before I started recording. Someone has messaged me. Um. Ooh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Scared me. Uh, yeah, so I left off. I was going to tell the story of. I was going to tell the story, what story? Good enough, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. There. <laughs> I'm so bad at terrifying. Okay, but yeah, so. <coughs> why is it lagging? Okay, I was about to go. <laughs> Yeah, later in the year, I was in class, and me and my boyfriend had just broken up. I was very, very upset. Um, very upset. <laughs> I was like, I had my head down in class, and I was crying, and my bullies, of course, saw I was weak. And guess what they did? They used my weakness time to make me absolutely flip and lose my mind. They started talking about my weight because I'm chunky and um, around here, even if you're a little bit chunky, if you're not twig skinny, you're considered fat unless you are popular, of course. So there was one dude that was like, oh, the name should be changed to Hefty. I'm like, okay, that's cool. But um, they just kept going on about it and they wouldn't stop, so I just, I just broke, I just broke down. Let's go find some food. So I just literally like broke. I just <laughs> I flipped. The teacher had told me to take my paper out to start doing my work. And I was like, no. And she was like, you better take it out. And I was like, fuck that. Um I I did say that. I was not really thinking clearly. Don't ever do that to a teacher. That was very bad of me to do. But yeah, so um I had gotten in a lot of trouble. But it was a sub, and then there's, um, we have like a second teacher in my class because there were people that were dumb, of course, um, because they were the ones who bullied me. <laughs> now that I look back at it, saying that, he was intelligent, and they were stupid, so I should feel good about that, but, yeah, um, so, then the sub had told me to leave. No, I, I stood up, and... They just kept going on and on, so I finally flipped and I was just like, shut the F up. And then, like, I don't even remember everything I said, but I just absolutely flipped on them. I, I just flipped. <laughs> oh man, it starts off. Let me go back to sleep. But yeah, I was just, I went off on them, and then Sud told me to leave, and like, I just had a mental breakdown. I just lost it. I was so upset. I was so not in it, and I just went to the girls' back and we just sat on the floor and just broke down. And, um, one of my friends who are not friends with me anymore, they kind of, uh, sold their life to me. But, um, yeah. She had come in the bathroom and, um, she came in the bathroom and, uh, tried to calm me down and all of that. And, um, <laughs> Okay, sorry, I had to do that. She
she came down and um we were in there for just 20 25 minutes maybe and yeah, we were in there for a good 25 minutes, and then we went to the lower admin office, because we have two admin offices, and there was no one there, so then we went back to class, and then they were like, what are you doing here? You're not allowed back here, and then, so, apparently, the whole time I was in the bathroom trying to calm down, all the officers in the school were literally searching the school for me. Yep. I was, I was, anyway, I was... I'm in a lot of trouble for that. I felt horrible. I did not know they were doing that. I am not a bad kid, okay? I just go through a lot, and people just mess with me too much, and I just, I lose it sometimes. I mean, I just have a lot going on in my life, and I wish people would respect that, but they like to use that as a weakness, and so I got in a lot of trouble. Um, I believe I had a four-hour detention, two referrals, um, Three mediation contracts and um, a suspension. And yeah, so I was in a lot of trouble. Understandably. But once again, I told them why I flipped out. Of course, why was it? Because of my bullies. I'm gonna make this over. Looks weird. And um, they didn't do anything. Because they said, well, why didn't you come to us early in the year to report it? And I'm like, what? <laughs> Do you not understand that I came earlier in the year to report out of one of the bullies that I had that I had that year? Literally had at least fourteen people bullying me that year, all together, helping each other. And so I was like, dude, what? I came to you, like so I got in trouble and they didn't do anything. We just did another mediation contract. Yeah, that solves everything. So they continued to bully me. Um, oh, I didn't check the time before I started recording. Uh, I'm just gonna guess that uh, it is. We'll stop the recording at 8.50. Yeah, sorry. Shouldn't be talking about time, but I kind of say whatever's on my mind sometimes. But yeah, so, I got in a lot of trouble for that, and, um, it was pretty bad. Uh, the detention was hell, obviously, because I have anxiety, and my main problem is I cannot sit in one place for a long period of time because I will get anxious and I need to pace. If I'm having a panic attack, it is a necessity that I pace or get fresh air. So it was it was bad, but I moved past it. And then my next year, school came, which was sophomore year. And, um, I decided to not be myself whatsoever. I refused. I just, I wouldn't do it. Um, I don't really have to do it. I just didn't want to get bullied again. Like, I, I just didn't. And I was going through a lot, and my depression was getting really bad. Like, before school started, my anxiety level had increased severely. And it got bad. It got bad, and, um, sorry, uh, it got bad, and, um, I had, like, it was, like, I was having really bad stomach issues that now we know was anxiety, because we had every test in the world done, and, um, yeah, so it, it was really bad. Uh, my anxiety was just out of control, I and mean, I, I couldn't go to school. I was missing so much school, and um, I mean, obviously this was just this last year. Uh, um, so yeah, it was this last year, and it, it was just getting bad, and I just missed so much school this last year. Like it, it was just really bad. Um. I almost didn't pass 10th grade because of just missing school. I had my grades good. Um, I, I got bullied here and there. I got bullied, but my grades were decent. And, um, yeah, but that was just this last year, and a lot has happened <clears throat> in the last three months. Um, with two months left in school, 
I believe it was like a month and a half, two months, I think. I don't know, but everything just got to me, and um, my depression just spiraled out of control severely. I uh, one day decided to start self-harming, which was the dumbest mistake of my life. Um, and it just got worse through the months, and it, it was bad. <laughs> I just, the self-harming got out of control, uh, my depression got out of control, I was extremely suicidal. Um, no one knew about it, I didn't want to tell anybody. I didn't want to talk to my psychiatrist, didn't want to talk to my therapist, I just kept it secret. Because I didn't, I wasn't comfortable with it, you know, I just, I was so funny and it was getting bad, the self harming was, it, it spirals out of control, it's the dumbest mistake you can make of your life, it's just so stupid, and it literally just starts with one, one cut, and it just, it spirals out of control, so, whoever's watching this, if you're going through anything similar, do not ever, ever, please ever start self harming because it, it, it'll just get really bad. Like, please, just don't. Like, <laughs> I'm dead serious, like, I just don't. And, um, right now I've been two weeks clean tomorrow. So I'm pretty happy with that. But, it's been a struggle. But, I, um, once school ended, I was extremely, you know, I just wanted to end my life. I was just, I can't, like, I, I wanted to go, I just wanted to go. I wasn't happy here, and I was just going through too much, so I was just like, yeah, um, and I went to my friend's party, and, uh, it was just like five people, five or six people, it was like six people, so it was a really small party, and, um, it was, it was, uh, I decided before I went that it was going to be the last time that my friends would see me, and that I was going to do it that week. And I was just done with everything. I was just ready to end it all. And, um, so yeah, I, um, later in that week, I had pretty much picked up my pill bottle, and it was like, ha it was like half or three fourths full. And, um, I was about to take all of them, and something inside me just like, I don't know, I just threw it. <laughs> I threw it, and, uh, I just couldn't do that to my mom because me and my mom were like extremely close. I just could, I couldn't do it to her. I couldn't bring myself to put her through that pain because one thing I did forget to say. Um, I'll just say that at the end of my story. Um, but yeah, I just I couldn't do it. I just couldn't put her through that pain because she was literally the reason that I I, I survived. Like I I live for her and I I I fight my anxiety for her because I just care about her so much and. She's my rock, and I'm her rock, and we're, like, extremely close, and she's my best friend, and she's the chillest mom we can possibly have. She's awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it wasn't pretty cool. She's pretty cool. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't cool at all. But yeah, I need to find food. There's only sheep. But yeah, so I didn't do it, and then I had a therapist appointment a week later, actually with my psychologist, um, and I finally, my dad was in the room, and I'm not really that close to my dad, but I, I had to tell her because I was scared that I was going to do it, I, I, I was really close, and I didn't want to do it, I just couldn't do that to my mom, so I finally told her, oh, I have my so I finally told her my psychiatrist and my dad started crying because he didn't know that I would ever self harm. So it's really hard because I've never seen my dad cry. So um, it hurt to do that to him. But I told her, and then she decided to put me into a partial hospitalization program. And I was in there for three weeks. Um. I was in there for three weeks. And, um, I, I got a little better. It didn't help as much as it should have, but, I mean, as much as it did cost, it just should, didn't help even close to enough. But, um, yeah, I got out of that about three weeks ago. So it's been three weeks, and, um, they didn't really do much except for help with my anxiety. It didn't help with my, um, depression at all, and they switched my medication. 
and um, the medication that they switched me to isn't doing crap, and my anxiety has just been out of control. So I'm switching medicines again, and school is starting next week, so I'm not very happy about that. But yeah, I'm so um, cool. I think that. Alright, but yeah, and so my anxiety is just been spiraling absolutely out of control. I need to get some new questions. I'm gonna die. Um, yeah, and so I've been having like three panic attacks a day, and they usually last around two hours, at least two hours. Sometimes they last up to four, and um, it's been bad, but the new medicine is helping a tiny bit. So I'm on three medications right now. Actually, I'm on four. I'm on Prozac, Linectol, Effexor, and Seroquel, and then I have other medicines for my stomach issues. But yeah, and so it's helping a tiny bit. And um, so yeah, that's up to now. And um, I'm oh yeah, this last year that um, towards the end of the year, the school let me have a reduced schedule, so I only had to go in for half a day every day, which was very helpful. But obviously not helpful now. Um, but yeah, and so, I mean, right now, I'm two weeks clean of self-harm, which is good. My depression's a lot better. Um, I no longer want to kill myself, which is very good. Um, I'm happy, which is good too. And, yeah, that's my story, but I did read out that one thing, which is very important to me, and I don't know how I could have left that out, but, uh, November, November 12th, 2013, my friend had killed himself. He shot himself in the head, and, um, it, it sent me into a really bad depression, like, um, it was just bad. Uh, yeah, that was really hard to deal with, so... That happened, and I miss him very much, very, very much. Like, no one could ever even place him. He's just so... I miss him. He was a great, he was a great guy, but... He just had to give his heart and soul back to God, and if anything understands how hard it is to deal with... If anyone understands how hard it is to deal with depression, it's definitely me. And, um, I'm really upset that he didn't have that strength or that inner voice inside of him to stop him from it, but... I try to stay happy for him, so I know that's what he would want, but, you know, things happen. I just, I, I, I forgive him completely. I just, um, I feel bad for his family and everything, and his birthday was just last week, uh, and so was my dogs. My dog was one of my best friends, too. Uh, me and that dog were <laughs> inseparable, like, we were just so connected, and I, I miss my dog. We had to put him down on the second. But, uh, yeah. And my dog's birthday was, like, last week, too, so. Their birthdays were two days apart, so it was a bad week for me. And my anxiety, that's when my anxiety was, like, severely bad, so I had a very crappy week. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my story. I guess you could say I might have left some things out, but. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I'm gonna end the episode here. We need to find food. <laughs> but yeah, we'll find food next episode. So, um, that's my story. Not really a good story. Um, but yeah, just, uh, my one message to everybody is never stop self-harming and never give up, ever. Because somewhere in the world people care about you, and it means you, and someone in this world, you mean the world too. They will not be able to live a happy life without you in their lives. Your family, who you may think you think, yeah, who you think may not care about you at all, truly does love you. Even if they don't show it correctly, they love you. And, yeah, just don't ever give up. And if anybody ever needs to message me, I have my kick and Instagram and everything in the bio, or you can just message me on here and just stay strong. And just, yeah, stay strong, because you can do it. And I believe in you. And, yeah, just message me if you ever need someone to talk to. So I'm going to end my episode here now, I guess, and uh, I'm about to die hungry. But yeah, so, uh, things got deep past the episodes. Sorry about that. I thought you guys should know more about me, and I, I enjoy sharing my story, because it inspires someone.
Uh, just, I haven't given up yet, so no one should give up because everybody can fight the boss. You just need to find that person who helps. So yeah, kitty nipples and I'm out. <laughs>